Hi, in today's video I will show you how I managed to win Pro Fishings UK Perch League 2024. 70 people competing and still I managed to finish at the top there. Very very lucky result on my side. So in this video I will cover topics like lures, pike problem, micro location and so on. And also I will include a few of the best sessions when it comes to perch fishing. So yeah, I hope you'll find this video useful and will learn plenty. Stick around! And yeah, when it comes to, you know, Pro Fishing UK perch competition, perch league of 2024, Basically, they do have a bunch of rules, but main ones are as follows. So, fish 25 centimeter plus counts only. Sun, you have to catch 10 of them or 10 longest will count and the winner will be decided by combined length of those 10 perch. Also, bank fishing only, no boats. And only artificial lures, that is silicones, hard lures and so on. And the due date or end date is 15th of March 2024. But yeah. The, the list of the rules is really extensive. You can have a look at the screen right now. No fish on the first cast. Surprise, surprise. When it comes to the end tackle, bread and butter was my improved jigger rig with 6.5 cm grub and tungsten weight. When I wanted to be more selective, I opted for 8 to 10 cm long paddle tails of some kind with orange belly and custom flipping jig heads with eyes. Weights on both rigs obviously were according to conditions. What do we have here? First bite. Little click. I think it's a perch. Just, just not, not what we need, guys. Yeah, that is a perch. Very clear bite. I mean, it would count. Uh, I mean, it's definitely over 25 centimeters, but it's not what we need. Yeah, maybe like 28 centimeters. <laughs> quality little fish so yeah by the clock hopefully more to come okay thank you very clear by just like click okay let's see if you know can get something way bigger twice as long would be nice <laughs> That's, ins that's insane. Again, just like nothing, nothing, and now just like two chucks, two casts. I will keep this one on the net for a little bit, just in case, you know, if, if there are more and bigger ones. Very clear bite. This one is a little bit bigger. Like 30. Just look at that, guys. Awesome. So, yeah, nothing, nothing. And I knew that I'm in a decent area, I just needed to wait a little bit. Yeah, 30, maybe 30 and a little bit, you know. Don't want to release them just yet. Okay, let's try to see if we can do free for free. <laughs> Very good bites as well, just like positive click. So 
again might have been just just two active fish you know for now but there might be more as i say i won't bother you know measuring this one even though you will say that it's you know stupid not to measure quality perch like that 30 plus this one that i have in the net but i know that to win this competition i need to be aiming like 450 centimeters more or less so this one would be just waste of time when it comes to measuring it. I mean, I will measure everyone that is over 40, that's for sure. But, or 40 plus, let's say. 40 or more. <laughs> but... I won't measure fish like, like this one for sure. And that's it, just two quick bites. But I got those two. Okay. I think, yeah, I think this is what we need, guys. It feels like a 40 to me. Feels feels like a 40. I was about to say that I got bites a little bit further out, but this one took quite close in. Please stay on. Please stay on. That's a decent one, I think. It is a decent one, but... It's not a 40 still, damn it. It's like, or maybe it is actually, I, I might measure this one. It might, it might just be, but just look at the condition on this one. Fantastic fish. Okay. So see guys, nothing was happening. I was changing lures and I don't know if this lure, you know, I mean, I, I had a few cuts before nothing happened, but then it started happening. I think the, the fish just started feeding. And now, after a few casts, I will step up my lure. I will go like I was going smaller and smaller now, you know. They started feeding, I will go bigger. I mean, I will go for eight and a half centimeter cannibal shot. That is, you know, like chunky lure. But all three bites are like positive. I like that, just, you know. Like no messing about, just. There is no confusion, you know. This last one was, like took right close in here. It was so much fun. How about that? I just needed two casts and that's a good perch. I mean, that is insane, guys. I tried bigger lure, nothing. Please stay on. That's a very good perch, I can feel it. Very nice click as well. Please be 45. Eh? It's so much fun, guys, on this ultralight, you know. Very clear by just quick at distance, probably 35 meters out. Or maybe it's not as big. Or maybe it is. Ooh, that's a tank. That's a tank. I think that's a 40, guys. Oh yeah, yeah it is. That's how we roll guys. We try different things and that's, you know, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that's the result, you know. On my Jika as well, like, and you need slow presentation, just, just there is, uh, or there are no better rigs in my opinion. Probably this one is not quite 45, maybe 43 I would say, so. Fantastic, you know, competition fish for sure. Ah! Ah! Very good buy, just quick perch, 100% a perch. Come on! Come on! Kingfisher just went through, I believe the fish is big, but maybe, yeah, yeah, he has a fish, I can see him like in the bushes, I can see uh, like silver bit moving. And i seen in the past, you know, when Kingfisher catches a fish, he actually bangs the fish dead, like, while holding it, like, in some branch or whatever, like, you know, like, with a beak. It's so funny. Before swallowing it, you know. 
Damn it. Very positive bite again. Just, just missed, I guess, a hook or something. Because kind of the, that fish had the lure in the mouth. I struck, I felt the fish for a split second and then I just let it go. Don't think it was ever on the hook like properly. But this one is. I uh, think smaller fish though. I chucked like in the same area, you know, where I got that bite at. Yeah, way smaller fish. I mean, most likely like about 30, I would say, unless it's it's bigger it, and it's playing games, but I don't think it is. It does not have that weight. I can pull him, you know, quite easily. A quality fish, guys. Ooh, splashed my face. I think I just will grab him, nope, and got mad. That's, that's actually a quality fish, guys. That's bigger than I was thinking. That's a, that's a close to 40 fish, guys. How about that? Just a switch, you know, to a smaller lure producing bigger fish. You know, well, producing fish. Smaller one was producing nothing. A uh, bigger lure that is, was pro producing nothing. I mean, this, this fish is just, you know, really, really big one. It's like possibly close to three pounds, I would say, because it's a chunk. Really, really chunky fish, healthy. Perfect. <laughs> Just as, as the tail also is a little bit like short. I mean, if the tail would be a little bit like, you know, better, it would be a couple centimeters longer. Okay, swim back, you tank. Go that way. And this one, what was that, 38 or something, 37? <laughs> Thank you. Grow bigger. Okay, nice little bite. That might be a big fish, guys. Feels like, like a good one. Feels like a good one. It has some weight. Definitely has some weight, this one. Yeah, feels very heavy fish, guys. Please stay on, please stay on. I'm feeling 40 plus. Feels like a very heavy fish, this one. Please stay on. It's close, it's close. I can't lift him, here is my leader. Yes. No, actually not. I mean, it is a 40, but who came out? Bablas, as always. Another tank. Maybe 41, I would say. Wind has changed its direction a little bit. Now it's actually like not making a very big bow in my... I said I was feeling good about this cast. Very, very clear, clear bite. I hope you saw the bite, like super clear. Just, that, that was awesome. Where that fish is kiting. It's a good, very good perch. Please don't kite there, Mr. Perch. Get away from some bushes. I think I got him maybe under control. Sorry, I can't, I can't answer. That's a tank. It's a tank. Yes! It's a little bit messy in here. Many things are happening. I have to pick that up again. A hook came out. That actually might be 40, 42, 43. Tank. Absolute tank, guys. I said I was feeling good about that cast. Okay, enter the fish. Let's take a picture. That's 42, boom, submit. Yeah, this perch is just badass. Just look, guys. 
That is the coolest looking perch you've probably ever seen. Just look, perfect shape. Angry as a as a devil. Just look. <laughs> okay, thank you. That is a ridiculous shot. Okay, thank you. This one is not too happy either. <laughs> awesome, awesome fishing guys. Okay, thank you. Even though you're watching me fishing in the same area in the daylight, most of my sessions were in the dark. Fishing usually from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and in other areas with bigger fish around. Actually, I had three spots on two different rivers and two still waters that I used for this competition. Alright guys, I just finished my walk and I'm heading towards the river in pursuit to catch some big perch. Really, it feels more than walks and fishing since I'm going out, you know, for a couple of hours most evenings. Not my first choice to fish in the dark, but yeah, I have no other options. And again, it seems to be walking. I'm catching odd but nice stamp perch, you know smallest so far is 42 centimeters but yeah it seems to be walking even though as I say I would prefer to fish when I can see some things but again fishing in the dark it definitely has some intimacy if you like sometimes those you know electric bites in the dark are quite you know attractive anyway I will focus on driving and hopefully it will walk out tonight as well That's a bite. Not a big perch, not what I need for sure, not 45, but it's a first bite. I think that's not a good cast, you know, I aimed for a little bit further cast, but it did come short and yeah, still managed to find this little perch. relax thank you <laughs> escaped without me being able to snatch him oh yeah at least we are off the mark okay i'll try to go to the same area maybe this is where the shoal is at you know you might be in one like fishing in one spot but you have to still you know fan out micro location if you will or micro locate them perch or any fish for that matter you know sometimes there might be some kind of a log and you will be catching perch that was an bite, same area so yeah you might be catching perch on the one side of the log and absolutely empty on the other side of the log as simple as that or further away like half a meter from the log you will never ever get a bite cast closer you will get a bite a chuck I've seen it happen so many times like 80 percent sure it was a, a bite I'll check quickly on my lure and we'll cast exactly there in the kill zone picked up some weed maybe it was weed but it looked like a little little knock Okay, here we go. Come on, I need 45 now. Or bigger. Anything that is longer than 42 is okay. Here we go. What is it? That's that's not right. I'm checking its head a little bit, but I do not like that side side, you know, little movement at the start. Usually, when you hook a perch, they would come like straight line, but I don't know. It might be might be a nicer one. Again, you know, I am on ultralight, so. Oh, 
might be a perch actually yeah, it is just not what I need it is a 40 but maybe not even a 40 ah yeah it is actually a 40 chunky one probably I might measure him probably just look at that guys <laughs> yeah maybe 40 41 not too sure just look how ugly that fish is it's awesome thank you chunk so yeah micro location guys micro location i was casting around casting around and just in that one area which i found almost by accident you know by casting a little bit too short but again i would have found it anyways like a little bit later but yeah micro location is super important when perch fishing or any kind of fishing really like float fishing for chub for example if you have some kind of a snag or bubble fishing as well if you have some kind of a snag you just have to be as close to the snag as possible the more bites you will get doing that way or having your lure as close to the snags as possible and it might be just something very small you know you would not pay too much attention No wonder why that perch felt, you know, different. It's like very, very chunky fish, just like female fish, 100%. It was kiting somewhere, behaving as, I don't know, as what. But it was shaking its head a little bit as well. What has clarity actually looks perfect, guys. Little bite already on the first cast. Good fish too. <gasps> Came off. It's very good fish. Come on! What happened there? I felt the bite stroke and everything. Bite close in. Came off again. What is happening here? Are you kidding me? This bit is, you know, very good for evening bite. I have sun behind me, so sun is still shining, but... So... Little bite, that felt like a perch. Yeah, it is, it is a perch. Head shakes and everything. Please stay on, please stay on. Very unexpected place of that bite, I mean, way closer. Uh, I mean, it's a decent fish, just not too sure if, if it's, you know, it's... If it's, you know, good enough for me now, I need 42 centimeters plus. Definitely has some weight. Definitely has some weight. Where are you going, Mr. Perch? Please, just come back. That fish is just kiting to the right so bad. Okay, it's coming back. Whew. It's a good perch, guys. Very good perch. Definitely a 40, I think. Here, here it is. Tank. I mean, it is a 40, but not not much more. Not much more, guys. I don't think. My G rig is still, as you can see, my weight is out. Lure is well in the, in the mouth. Yeah, it's about 40 centimeter. I mean, fantastic competition fish, but for me, at this point, I need way bigger ones this bubble is hook come on how did you manage to that's it very angry angry this one very angry this one okay you can be in the net for a little bit nice and safe here very clear bite not not aggressive just like click boom fish on oh no that fish is going out already this one is not very friendly is he Yep, ah, I was thinking it came off because it kind of went slack for a second after after I struck. Most likely fish, it, now it's off. Okay, I have to check what is happening. It was a perch, what is happening here? So let's see guys, I'll grab that bigger rod. Even though it's a very big lure, you know, for still winter fishing. But sometimes when there are, you know, a few fish that are really far up, you want, you know, something way bigger. And, and here it is. 
and there is plane coming above my head. Please stay on. Feels like a very good fish, guys. Feels like a perch too. I can feel, you know, head shakes and everything. I hope it won't be, you know, like a tiny Z. Oh no, it's kiting, it's kiting. Damn, it's very heavy, it might be a little Z or... Please be a massive perch. Ah no, it's running, so it might be a small pike then. Yeah, it is a small pike, damn it. It might be actually what was, you know, biting for me before. Sometimes when pike would bite, they, you know, would, would not hook, you know, on small hooks that easily, especially on offset hooks. Those are the ones that I hate, you know. You often feel that it's a perch, it's shaking its head, but... And it's heavy, you think it's a massive perch, but you end up catching, you know, a cucumber just like that. Phew, finally. <laughs> okay. Get lost. <laughs> Little bite. Are you kidding me? Okay. That, I don't know what this one feels like. I do not know what this feels like. No, definitely not a perch, guys. Are you kidding me? So, yeah, most likely in that bit there were a few, you know, small pike and they were just producing, you know, bites. And I was missing them on that offside hook. Yep. <laughs> Please don't jump. Oh, thank you. Why that fish had to wait so long, you know, to to come off, I do not know. What is happening here? This is insane. This is insane. Three pike and three casts. This one is bigger as well. Way bigger. Way bigger. I don't think it's a double figure one, but way bigger. Oh, actually, it is a double figure one. I do not feel confident, you know, playing that pike on the tackle in this area at all, like. But so far, that pike been quite good, you know? That is a tank. <laughs> oh, guys, that is a tank. That is a meter fish, guys. That is a meter fish. Just hooked, though. Okay, I'll try to, just to land her. We'll release that perch, so it will not get damaged. And we got a meter pike in the bag. <laughs> I won't bother, you know, measuring that fish, but I just will show it for the camera really, really quickly. Just hooked though in, 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 the, in the bottom lip there. Oh yeah, probably, I would say, eight kilos. Eight kilos. I just getting very lucky often as I was with this fish, you know. Yeah, thank you. Okay guys, today is the last day of river season as of 2024 and also today is the last day of that perch league run by 
Pro Fishing UK competition and really I have a net not that biggest perch in my life just 44 centimeters plus but very very important 44 centimeters plus guys because this fish gave me the lead back again so yeah absolute mint fish guys tank mint condition as well three and a half pounds more or less maybe a little bit more because she's very very chunky so yeah mint fish guys and hopefully today will be or the re remaining hours to be good for me and I will be able to clinch the victory so yeah thanks you beauty go back and grow bigger even though I have managed to secure a top spot at this point in time I'm not considering participating in another online competition again that is the only reason people cheat just to give you a few examples one was folding his tape another was submitting the same fish again and again the third one was fishing shoulder to shoulder with his buddies during the competition and that's only where I checked so it's only half of the time about catching fish the other half is about babysitting others to make sure they wouldn't cheat in any case i have to say thanks for all who have supported me during this competition and also organizers so a big thank you